hydrangea. And what I want to show you today is that this is starting to develop its buds for next year. So I want you to be careful when you go out if you're going to cut your hydrangeas back. Just take a look at them and make sure they don't have next year's buds on them because if they do, you're going to lose some flowers for next year. You could go ahead and cut it. I could cut this if I want and I wouldn't lose all the flowers. But I'm going to keep it the way it is because I can see I have a lot of buds on this plant. Typically, the hydrangea macrophyllas start developing their buds after the flowers go by. This is a lace cap, so it flowered earlier and its flowers went by a while ago. I'm going to show you here. As we look down, you could look right here. Just take a look at the leaves and you'll see the bud forming here. We've got a lot of them actually. Here's another flower here and the buds are forming there. And that's basically what you want to do is just go around the plant and take a look. And if you see these buds, you don't want to cut them off. So I'm going to leave this plant the way it is. If it's too big for you, you could go ahead and cut it. You're just going to lose some flowers. Just selectively cut it and try to make it a nice shape.